Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. Fall is a good time to work on those seasonal tasks like cleaning the carpets and the weather is still nice enough to open up the windows and there's still enough time to get the house ready before the busy holiday season. And I also need to be outside to put up the Halloween decorations so it's the perfect weekend to clean the carpets in the bedroom. And once I clean the carpets I need to stay off them until they're dry so I need to change the sheets before I get started today. And once once the bed is made, I can start cleaning the carpets. If you're new here, my name is Randy and I live in Southern California with my husband and our two fur babies and I make videos for cleaning and organizing motivation and I post new videos every Friday. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to take a minute and hit that subscribe button. I can understand you're tired of this town And I'm not saying that we have to settle down now Just remember this We could have been stardust Same world but without us Something made us, made us find each other out there Made us realize we're more than just stardust Ignore this fact if you must To do what your dreams are telling you to do And I'll be out there looking for someone like you Stardust, Stardust I'm the lazy one so I guess I should have known you said yourself you want to do this alone What if your dreams are making it hard to think straight? Cleaning the carpets in this room is a two-day process. I have to move everything to one side so that I can clean one half on the first day and then I do the same for the other half of the room on the following day. And I have furniture movers underneath the feet of the heavier furniture to make it easier to move the furniture around the room. I try to clean behind the furniture twice a year and I pull the furniture away from the walls and vacuum the baseboards and dust the backs of the furniture. And since I need to move the furniture to clean the carpets, I can take care of that today as well. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? I'm starting on the carpets upstairs in the bedroom because it gets the most traffic and the dogs sleep in here and we're in and out of this room all the time. And before I start cleaning the carpets, I need to vacuum the area to pick up any hair and loose debris that can be trapped inside the carpet fibers. Is all gone. Feeling is all gone. Feeling 
I fill the tank with hot water and add the cleaning solution and I start by making a few passes to release the cleaning solution to loosen up the dirt and I suction out the excess water after every pass to keep the carpet from getting too wet. The more saturated the carpet gets the longer it takes to dry but too much water can actually cause the carpet to buckle and I work in small sections at a time so that I don't have to walk on the carpet once it's clean and then I rinse the carpet with clean water to remove the soap and I try to get out as much soap as I can. Any cleaning residue that's left behind can be harmful, but it can actually attract dirt and grime. <laughs> so the more soap that I can extract from the carpet, the more dirt I can pick up. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Because we have pets, it made sense for us to buy a carpet machine, but they're available to rent in most areas, and it's always a good idea to check the cleaning instructions on your carpet before you start cleaning. And if you're not sure how to clean the carpets, you may need to hire a professional cleaner. And with the holiday season just around the corner, it's a good time to get ahead of the holiday cleaning so it's one less thing to worry about. Regular cleaning makes the carpet look better and it extends the life of the carpet. It removes the dirt, the stains, and the odors, but it also removes harmful bacteria and allergens that can get trapped in the carpet. I had planned to spend the rest of the afternoon putting up Halloween decorations, but we ended up going out to lunch and running some errands. So I started out the next day with a quick tidy around the house before I finished up in the bedroom.
because the carpets need time to dry, I wanted to get it out of the way early. And after a quick vacuum, I moved all the furniture over to the clean side of the room so that I could repeat the same process all over again. Miss Callie likes to sleep on this side of the room at night, and now that the furniture is out of the way, it's easy to see exactly where she likes to sleep. So I'll have to pre-treat a few of the spots in this area to loosen up the stains before I use the carpet cleaner. When I'm cleaning the carpets, I pull the trigger to release the cleaning solution when I push the machine forward. And I'll release the trigger when I pull the machine back to extract the water from the carpet. And I also release the trigger before the machine stops so I don't end up soaking the carpet when I change direction of the machine. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. I only use enough cleaning solution to wet the carpet and I'll make several passes with the machine to agitate the carpet and loosen the dirt before I rinse out the soap. If I add too much soap, I have to spend more time rinsing it out of the carpet. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder With the carpets checked off my list, it was time for a break and I wanted to make smoothies, but there were a few dishes that were left out to dry, so I took a minute to clear off the countertops. Because I have all the ingredients prepped, this smoothie comes together quickly. I use the lines on the side of the pitcher to measure 12 ounces of unsweetened coconut water. And then I add the greens and the dry ingredients. And I start blending on low and gradually increase the speed. And once everything is blended, I can add the remaining frozen ingredients. I have this same green smoothie almost every day and it's refreshing and packed with nutritious benefits and I've noticed that it seems to be especially helpful with anxiety and I'll be sure to leave the recipes for both of the smoothies in the description box and I try to include as much information as I can think of in the description box but be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions about anything or if you need a link to something that isn't listed below.
This recipe makes about four cups and sometimes I drink the whole thing in one serving and sometimes I'll save half for later in the day. But this tumbler will only hold half the smoothie so I'll pour the rest in a mason jar so that I can use the blender to make another smoothie. My husband asks me to make this banana almond smoothie almost every weekend <laughs> and there's only a few ingredients so it's easy to put together and I'm using almond milk but any type of milk would work and I usually use almond butter but we were out so I'm just using nutso instead. I use the same dry ingredients that I used in the green smoothie and I like to measure them out in advance to save time. That way I only have to pull out the ingredients once instead of every day. We keep all the holiday decorations packed away under the stairs so before I can get started decorating I have to dig out the closet. And most of the decorations are for Christmas so when we packed away the Christmas decorations last year we left all the Halloween decorations in the front so they would be easy to get to. <laughs> but we still have to move everything out of the closet and with everything out of the way I had a chance to vacuum out all the dirt and hair that drifts into the closet. Sleep. 
Before I start putting things out in the yard, I like to take a minute and group things together so that I can see what I have to work with. We've had most of the Halloween decorations for years, but the giant spiders are the most recent addition, and we found a few more spiders last year, and they're great because they make a big impact, and they fold up small so they don't take up a lot of storage space. Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight A lonely wind is passing by to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk I made tombstones and ghosts out of plywood the first year we moved into the house and they're a little worse for wear at the moment but that's all the better for Halloween <laughs> we can see Hold my hand and hear the words I say we don't decorate the inside of the house for Halloween, but I love to dress up the outside and I try to get the Halloween decorations up at the beginning of October so that there's a little time to enjoy them before we have to take them down again. Halloween is one of those projects that my husband and I do together. I put out the decorations and my husband connects the power for the lights. And while I was putting out the pumpkins, my husband started fixing the landscape lighting and most of the lights were out in the front. And as you'll see later, it's a good time to get all the lights working.
the carpets had plenty of time to dry while we were outside in the yard so I just needed to move everything back into place and cleaning the carpets is a bit of a process <laughs> but it's always worth the minor inconvenience it's one of the best ways to freshen up a space and make the carpets look new again That's all for today. I hope you liked today's video and if you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I'll leave you with a little after dark Halloween tour. <laughs>